Self-induced vomiting is among the most frequent purging behaviors that we see with bulimia nervosa. In self-induced vomiting, there is stimulation of the pharynx, which is the back of the throat, to induce the gag reflex. And this can become an automatic or conditioned behavior after eating. When the gag reflex is induced, the abdominal walls contract and result in expulsion of content in the stomach. The esophagus and mouth become exposed to stomach acid. Now, recurrent self-induced vomiting can cause a whole range of problems, including dehydration, loss of electrolytes, subconjunctival hemorrhages, which are small bleeds in the eyes, swelling of the product gland, which is that salivary gland located near the mouth and ear, and sufferers can even develop scars or calluses caused by repeated scraping of the back of the hand against the upper teeth. As a consequence of stomach acid washing over the teeth and gums, self-induced vomiting is linked to an increased risk of tooth erosion and sufferers often notice more sensitive teeth and gums as well as tooth pain. It shouldn't be surprising for you to know that repeated exposure of the esophagus to stomach acid can result in irritation and damage to the mucosal wall lining. One study of patients with bulimia nervosa found that a quarter of patients had mild inflammation of the esophagus, also known as esophagitis, as well as symptoms of frequent heartburn and acid regurgitation. When stomach acid reaches the throat, this can be associated with burning throat and hoarseness, as the stomach acid in vomit can irritate the vocal cords and surrounding tissue. The forceful expulsion of the stomach during vomiting can lead to tearing of the lining of the lower esophagus. These tears are called Mallory Weiss tears and can present with fresh blood in vomitus. It can also lead to a rare condition called gastrointestinal intersusception, where the stomach slides up and becomes enfolded inside the esophagus. And rather surprisingly, rectal prolapse, where the wall of the rectum slips out of place, has been documented in a few cases of bulimia nervosa. So we can see now that there are a whole host of gut problems that can happen with recurrent self-induced vomiting. If you or anyone else you know has this problem, it's important to seek out medical advice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Post any questions you might have in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.